So I'm just leaving um, JR's, uh, have a breakfast sandwich and coffee. A uh, nice gentleman uh, paid for uh, my sandwich and my coffee. I'm really thankful. Um, yeah, so now, oh, there's, look, there's a kitty. Hi. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi. Oh, how cute. Anyways, I got distracted by the, the cat. Uh, so yeah, I'm so thankful, you know, really nice people there. Um, uh, it, it was a bit noisy because, you know, they had to refill the diesel and uh, that was going on all night. And then this morning when the roosters were noisy, but that's expected. Um, so anyways, I'm starting the day gonna get some miles done uh, the no, I, so there was three northbounders that I met there the first hikers I've actually like met uh, they they said that this section up ahead is beautiful and there's only like one part in the day that I have to get my feet wet so that's exciting anyways yeah I'm just getting down the trail uh, I was also told 25 miles from here, uh, there's dogs. This, this guy got attacked by three dogs. Whew. I guess three uh, pit bulls, so I have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, just things to be cautious of ahead. So also, I got a really good uh, resupply because somebody sent a box to JR's, but they never showed up and they called and said, just give it to hikers. So I have some pretty good food. I'll show it to you later. Uh, so yeah, it's been like a trail magic uh, day and I'm really, really thankful. Anyways, let's get some miles done. So leaving JR's, there's a roadwalk, um, and then I guess there's quite a bit of roadwalk up ahead as well. Uh, that's okay though, just get the miles done. <clears throat> also. Um, I have to be somewhere where I could I have service on the 5th so I have to plan that out because uh, I have a doctor's appointment uh, over zoom uh, yeah crazy right who, who thought that that would be happening because but because of COVID now doctor's appointments are over zoom crazy crazy um but yeah so i have to have service on the 5th for sure at 12 30 so i have to figure that out <laughs> but it shouldn't be too hard i'll just push uh to a town uh around that time road walking still trail oh I love my earrings. Turn down this road. That is not a pretty sight, but that's probably like 
my 20th deer, dead deer on the side of the road I've seen. So it's nothing surprising. Popeyes? Somebody didn't give me Popeyes. Whatever. And I, of course, would pick up all this trash if, you know, there wasn't that much of it, but it would just be impossible for me to lug around all the trash I see out here. See, if I own a house like this um, on the Florida Trail, I would, like, open up a hostel for hikers and oh it would be awesome what would i do i would so i of course would have to still go to work if i had a house on the floor trail um or the you know the, my dream would have a would be to have a house right on the pacific crest trail and uh do you know have a hostel and just do trail magic and all of that 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 would be the dream. But if I had a house like this, I would, you know, have my grandma uh, run it during the day while I'm at work and then get off of work, come back and, you know, just talk to all the hikers and still be a part of the hiking community. And my grandma would love it because she'd love to talk all their ears off. Uh, so yeah, that would be really cool, but oh, I don't see that happening soon. No trespassing. What are you talking about? I planned to swim in there with the alligators. Finally, some decent weather. Uh, it's still pretty cold from the wind, but the sun's out, so this is awesome. So that means I might see a gator today, which would be awesome. See, I would expect them to be, you know, like an alligator just to lay right there to soak up the sun. Um, maybe I'll see one later in the day. Hope so. See, this wind makes it super chilly. So I'm in my belly and my leggings. I can't wait till it's like warm and I'm sweating and oh, I'm having to, you know, sit under a tree to, for the shade. That's the type of weather I want. <laughs> I could deal with the heat. Um, the cold, I mean, I could deal with the cold too, but I don't enjoy it. I would rather be overheating than have it chilly. Anyways, let's keep going.
super cool. Look at the goats. And this is right on the trail. Somebody's house. Look, they're all looking at me. So I'm taking a little break here. Um, and I thought I'd show you what I scored in the Higer box at JR's. Um, so cashews. I had cashews already from my grandparents and so thankful. So I was able to add it to the bag. Um, premium white chicken, little pouch. Pulled pork and barbecue sauce. So that's good. I got two of those. Pro meal on the go bar. I don't usually get these because these are like expensive. So, that. I have two of those. And then a payday. Candy is always amazing on trail. Um, and then the almond butter, Justin's almond butter. What else? Oh, and a couple of the Lara bars. So I scored pretty well at JR's. Um, somebody just left all the food in there. They were probably just tired of it because uh, they probably sent them, like, sent these boxes ahead of time and just got tired of the same food. So I'm thankful. So yeah, I'm set. I've got lots and lots of food. So happy. So yeah, I'm uh, carrying a lot of food right now. That was just like the snack pack for the day. Um, that's what I got out of the hiker box. And I have a whole bunch um, that my grandparents sent me as well. But I gotta take everything, you know, that I can get for free because it's just saving money that way. Um, yeah, I was like, there's a hiker box? I'm going. I'm getting everything. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it'll help me get further down the trail uh, and help me save money, so that will be good. And, I mean, who wouldn't take a payday out of the hiker box? Who would get rid of a payday? Crazy people. I'll show you what else I scored out of the hiker box. Trader, Trader Joe's uh, broccoli. It's actually pretty good. I like them. So yeah, I have these. And then also beef jerky. Only a crazy person would throw out beef jerky. <laughs> so yeah, I scored in the hiker box.
So pretty. Limestone bedrock. So that's what I've been going through. So it disappears under the ground, just like the videos I've been taking. Giant sloths, giant armadillos, and saber-toothed tigers. That is cool. But, of course, only today. There's wild turkey, deer, alligators, and bears. I want to see a saber-toothed tiger, though. <laughs> It just sinks. I wonder how many animals have died because they couldn't get back out. See, it's super cool because, I mean, you would think it would just be a, uh, like a still puddle, right? But no, it's flowing water. It's flowing. It just, you know, uh, opens up at certain points. Super cool. So sad. Look at all that trash. You know what that makes me think right there? That barrel? Maybe there's a dead body in there. Somebody was trying to hide the evidence and thought it would go under but it didn't. <laughs> the things that go through my mind are insane. So you could tell uh, boar and armadillos, they all tore up this.
This is definitely bore because it's a lot. I totally feel like an alligator right now because this is the first time I've uh, felt the sun like this in a long time. And I'm here to lay down like this. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. I'm just enjoying the sun while I can. Um, yeah, it feels good. I haven't had the sun on me in a long time. Oh, I'm moving down the trail still. Uh, just taking a break here, uh, and then I'm gonna get moving again. Now, normally I wouldn't film this because, you know, you guys don't want to see road kill and stuff like that, but this is pretty cool to me because uh, armadillos I don't really see ever, so uh, I'm a California girl, so I don't ever see this. So this is pretty cool. Uh, sorry to the people that didn't want to see this, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, maybe I'll see a live one. I haven't seen um, an armadillo yet, surprisingly. So... So this is a church, um, I think I'm going to camp here tonight because I know up ahead is just houses with uh, dogs and I know that some people that just uh, passed, well they were going Nobo so they just passed me, um, told me that there's three pit bulls um that attacked them so just right ahead so i think i'm gonna stay here tonight and then keep going in the morning so this is mount gilead baptist church i think that's how you pronounce it um i know there's a spigot over here for water somewhere Maybe this one works. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, okay. I'm all set up uh, behind the church here, um, eating my dinner. I've never tried the pulled pork um, barbecue sauce, um, the great value, so Walmart. Uh, I got it out of the hiker box and I really liked it, so I'm going to start getting the pulled pork from now on, because um, I could eat and eat and eat that. Uh, so yeah, I like that. 
Um, yeah, just relaxing now and gonna wake up and get to Madison tomorrow. Um, and then we'll see from there. Alright, good night you guys.